Pastos Biology Topics from the Study Guide Another concept in this section that takes a little explaining to understand uh, is the types of compounds based on their ability to dissolve in water. This is item number six on page 2.8. Compounds come in three categories. Polar covalent, they do dissolve in water. Non-polar covalent, they do not dissolve in water. And ionic, they do dissolve in water. You'll hear more about all of this when we get to uh, organic compounds, particularly lipids. Let's start with an example of an ionic compound. Sodium chloride, as we mentioned, is ionic. Sodium chloride is composed of a sodium ion and a chloride ion. Now, you'll see later that water molecules are polar. Uh, let's draw a water molecule as though it looks like a small magnet. It has a positive end and a negative end. Now, if you mix table salt with, in a glass of water, what happens? Stir it a little bit and it dissolves. Why does it dissolve? Well, because the negative end of the water molecule forces apart the negative chloride ion. The positive end of the water molecule forces apart the positive sodium ion. And so you end up with a glass filled with loose sodium and chloride ions that have been forced apart by the water molecule. Remember, like charges repel. What about a polar What about a polar covalent compound? Well, polar compounds might look like this. Let's say we have a solution in which uh, sugar Let's say table sugar is located. Sugar, you'll see, is a polar compound. So let's assume these are polar compounds. And that means, of course, that they have a positive end and a negative end. Now, again, if you add the polar compounds to water, let's say you do add sugar to water, what happens? Stir it a little bit and the sugar dissolves. Well. The negative end of the water molecule repels the negative end of the polar sugar molecule. The positive end of the water molecule repels the positive end of the polar sugar molecule. And lo and behold, the sugar has dissolved in water. What about a nonpolar compound? Now this concept will be clearer as I mentioned, when we get to lipids. Now let's take a lipid. Let's say we have Crisco oil. Here we have three molecules. They are nonpolar, so there's no positive or negative end to them. Let's mix them in with the water molecules. And this rectangle represents the water molecule. What will happen? Well, the molecules won't dissolve. They stay together as a clump because there's no charge on the nonpolar molecules to be repelled by the charges on the water molecule. By the way, what do we call the attraction between the different uh, nonpolar molecules? Hydrophobic bonds.